Vintage here. Welcome back to my channel, my Funko friends. I hope all of my amazing Funko friends are having an awesome, amazing, fantastic day. So speaking of Funko friends, guys, we have an A-OK -okay from amazing Funko friends within the community. We'll get to that in just a minute. And then we're going to discuss Target Con 2021 that happened yesterday. I hope the odds were ever in your favor, my Funko friends. Uh, I didn't really fare too well, but we'll get to that. So... We have an A-OK -okay here, an act of kindness, so this comes to us courtesy of Mitchie and Jeremy over at Let's Start a Pop Collection. So, I don't know what's in here, but the story on this is that they had a trivia question that they asked uh, in one of their videos, and I just happened to catch the video right as it went live, so it was a question about Tom and Jerry, and they were talking about Hanna-Barbera pasta they got, so I answered it, and they said they would send something to me, so... This is a complete mystery box from our amazing friends, Jeremy and Mitchie. First and foremost, guys, before we dive into this, they're awesome. They are amazing. So heartwarming. So caring. I'm going to link them down below. Make sure to check them out not only on Instagram, but make sure to check them out on YouTube, guys. Just amazing. Incredible. I can't say enough good things about them. So, this came in the mail yesterday. I was working, so I didn't have a chance to dive into it. So, we're going to dive into this, and then, like I said, guys, we are going to discuss TargetCon. Once again, I hope that everyone had a little bit better luck than I did. I hope that you acquired anything and everything that you were going after yesterday. Um, like I said, didn't really fare too well on my end, but we will discuss that. But, let's dive into this first, friends. So, like I said, this came in the mail yesterday, completely out of the kindness of their heart and the generosity of their time. So... Let's see what awaits for us inside, friends. Tate very well. Not that I doubted or worried about that, but definitely Tate very well. So thank you for that, because, you know, you can never trust the UPS, especially in these current times and circumstances in which we find ourselves in and we are living in. So, again, I don't know what's inside. No hints, no clues, just... They said they would send some goodies my way, a care package from out the kindness of their hearts, guys. So, this is what is inside, showing you first. All right, so, let's see what we have. Da -da -da. We have a note! I love notes. Aw, that's so awesome. Little stationery, and it's got them on it. Okay, Mikey Vintage. Aw, congrats on the giveaway win. Thank you for all your support. We're so happy to have you back in the Funko YouTube community. Much love, Jeremy and Mitchie. That is awesome. That is an awesome stationery. Awesome notes. I love heartfelt, sentimental notes. Handwritten letters and cards and art is just such a lost art form. So, I love it. I adore it. I will cherish that. So thank you, my friends, first and foremost. I am, I already know before I even look what's in here. I know that I will love and adore and appreciate everything that's inside. And I love and adore and appreciate you both. So, is this candy? Candy! We've got chocolate. You can't go wrong with chocolate. All right. Man, they weren't kidding when they said goodies. What is this? Ooh, baby. We've got, oh my gosh. We've got a little toy flute. We've got, oh man, we've got a little, uh, what is this, a little swamp thing? This is awesome. Mitchie, I don't know if you made this up or Jeremy, whoever. This is an awesome goodie bag. we got some puzzles in here. That is so cool. we got some stickers. Love stickers. Man, you weren't kidding. I never doubted you for a minute, but I was not expecting this. And I... I feel bull rope. I think there's a sword in here, guys, so they may have sent a pop as well. Little rubber ducky. What's like Smile World? Actually, this rubber ducky is better. Does Smile World even send rubber duckies anymore? I feel like I haven't seen them in the community very often doing rubber duckies with their grails. But anyways, I know that there's probably a grail away from me inside or something sentimental. I know that I'm going to love and adore it. I, this is awesome. This is like I feel like I just went to a birthday party. Mitchie and Jeremy, I feel like I just went to your birthday party, and this is a little goodie bag. That's awesome. I love it. See, it's little, and there's a lollipop, more candy, there's hearts. Man, this is awesome. Little sentimental, unique touches like this, I feel like, go a long way. So, guys, A++++. I feel like I'm giving, like, an eBay feedback rating. Awesome sauce. Two thumbs up. I'm loving it. All right. That's awesome. All right, and then... Yes, it looks like there is a pop bubble wrap. So, awesome shipping, awesome care and quality. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. 
show you first. Like I said, I already love this box. Even if there wouldn't have been a pop, just that alone would have been awesome. The heartfelt letter. All right, let's see, friends. What is it? It's got a little bit of weight to it, whatever it is. So I'm showing you first. All right. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Boop! <gasps> hey! Okay. Doc Brown with a little headgear and the coordinates for the DeLorean. That's awesome. I don't have this. I'm proud to have this. I love this movie. 80s baby at heart. All about sci-fi and action movies. So awesome sauce. This is going to go well in the collection. I think I might do a little rearranging over here. But, man, Jeremy and Mitchie knocking down the park. Thank you so much. Like, I honestly would have been happy with the letter. Even the little bag of goodies. I'm happy to add this pop. I'm honored to add this pop into the collection. Thank you, my amazing Funko friends, so much for your hospitality and support and for even hosting such a fun thing like a, you know, a random trivia, random giveaway. You know, you said you would send a care package and this went above and beyond. So thank you, friends, so much. Again, I'm going to link them down below, so make sure to check them out. I will find a spot for that soon. So, Jeremy and Mitchie, you guys are awesome. Two thumbs up. Can't say enough good things about you. Thank you so very much. I could go on and on about you all day, but I won't. But thank you guys so very much. I really do appreciate it. So, backtracking. TargetCon 2021 was yesterday, friends. I hope that you fared better than I did. Um, I didn't get up as early as I should have. Uh, apparently, a lot of people in my town got to a lot of local targets at about 6 a.m., at least that was the report that I got from the Electronics Associates. Uh, I'm not a morning person. I definitely don't do 6 a.m. I would have considered 7 a.m., but I guess people started showing up at the local targets at 6 a.m. here. There were three local targets in the area. The first one that I went to said that they did not get the bullseye, and they did not get the, what was it, the Michael Jordan. Everything else they got, but they were sold out. So by the time I got there, all they had was the silver 12-inch Pikachu, and which I don't really understand. I'm a Pokemon fan, but I don't understand why it's silver. Maybe you can let me know in the comments down below. Not trying to throw hate or shade. I really don't know. I just saw it and I was like, uh, I, don't, I don't have the room for a 12 inch pop anyway, but maybe it makes sense to someone that's a Pokemon collector. So they had that. And then they had the General Mustard from Clue, which not really interested. I don't really know who that's for. I mean, maybe if you're into like classic board games, that and the Candyland one. But anyways, that's all the first target had the second target said that they were sold out of everything they had nothing they said people cleared them out by 9 a.m so they said people showed up at six they opened the doors at eight by nine o'clock so an hour after opening everything they had was gone so then i went to the third target in my area and all they had once again this was a completely different target all they had was a 12 inch pikachu silver again not for me not my thing maybe it's for you maybe you can explain the significance of it down below don't have the room for a 12 inch pot but they had it. They also had the Colonel Mustard. Obviously, I played Clue, but not really a pop that I wanted out of my collection. Again, I don't really know who that's for. So, I asked the person in electronics, do you have any Michael Jordans, any autos, or any of the bullseyes? And they said no, they didn't have any, but they radioed up to custom service, and they said that someone had just returned to Michael Jordan. I ran so fast. I wasn't trying to get my hopes up, but I was excited. I was hopeful. I ran there. So I ran to their customer service. Now, they informed me that they were the ones that were holding all of the pops in the back, which I thought was a smart idea because unlike the first and second target where people could just clear the shelves, they had it behind customer service. That way they could ensure that each person only got one item and that if they tried to come back throughout the day, they would be recognized. Hey, you're already here. You already got this pop. I can't give you another one. So I thought that, that was fair. I'm surprised more targets don't incorporate that system, but... Back to the Michael Jordan. So I said, hey, I was just in electronics. The electronics associates radioed you and asked if there's any Michael Jordan, and you said that you had one. What's the story? They said, well, someone just returned it, but it's damaged. I'm really not that much of a box stickler, whatever. If they have it, so be it. So I asked, may I please see it? When they brought it out, guys, the best way I can describe it is that it looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone or Jean-Claude Van Damme looked at the pop, turned it around, and pooh! I mean, pummeled this thing, hammered this thing into oblivion. The back was just beyond wrecked. So I said, no thank you, I'm not interested, but thank you for showing it to me. So, 
I don't know if someone bought it damaged, if someone decided to damage it and then return it, but this thing was annihilated. So, didn't really work out for me. I wasn't able to get anything. What I was going for was I was going for the Michael Jordan for myself. I was going for the Otto from The Simpsons for myself, and I was going for the Bullseye. But, you know, that's the name of the game. It wasn't meant to be. I didn't wake up as early. I didn't go hunt as early as I should have, and I missed the boat. So, let me know how you fared down below, friends. What did you get in your Funko Con haul? Did you go to Funko Con? And what were you gunning for? Did you get, is there something that you wanted that you didn't get, much like myself? Let me know all that and more down in the comments below. Once again, Jeremy and Mitchie over at Let's Start a Pop Collection. Thank you so much for your A-OK, -okay, your act of kindness. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for being awesome, amazing Funko friends and family within the community. I definitely appreciate you. So make sure to support them. Make sure to check them out on Instagram and YouTube down below. As always, friends, happy hunting. Collect what you love. Enjoy the thrill of the hunt. Mikey Vintage, signing off. I will see you, friends. Almost knocked my head off in the next episode. Bye, friends!